Uh, hi everyone and welcome back uh, to the series of uh, three phase uh, problems. Now in this question will be a bit different than the previous questions as we will not have a source of energy, a delta or a Y connected source, but we will have only the load and we will have the, the line and we want to find what is the total power factor of such of such configuration. So here we have uh, this question. So we have ZY. This is the Y connected load with an impedance equal to two angle of minus 30. We have a delta connected load and uh, we have uh, a line. The, uh, the delta load is uh, equal uh, to uh, three plus J four. So this is the, uh, the load of the delta. And in the line, it is 0.1 plus j.2. Now, this is here is the source side, which was not specified if it is y or delta. So this is your source. The question says, what is the power factor at the source side? At this source side, what would be the power factor? So that question looks a bit different than we used to do, because we know that the power factor is basically cosine of theta v minus theta i. But here we don't have a voltage, we don't have a current. So how we can find the power factor? And the answer to this question is very simple. Because as we know that z is the voltage with, with its angle divided by the current with its angle. So this is basically v over i angle theta v minus theta i so actually the angle of the load is basically the angle of the power factor in other words we want to find the equivalent impedance of this configuration and then this will be the the angle of the or the angle of this impedance will be the angle of the of the power factor so it's very, very straightforward. Now we need to convert the circuit into a single phase circuit. So I need to convert this into Y connection. And to do that, we need to divide this by, by three. So this becomes equal to one plus J 1.33. So we have this load in parallel with this in series with the line impedance so we can draw it as such so we will have this configuration of the load and the line so the line is equal to uh, as we have seen here 0.1 plus j 0.2 and this is equal to 2 angle of minus 30 and this is equal to 1 plus J 1.33. So we want to find Z total. So your Z total will equal to the line impedance, which is 0.1 plus J 0.2 plus two angle of minus 30 in parallel with one plus j 1.33 ohm so as we know when we have two loads in parallel or two impedance in parallel we multiply them and divide by their summation this is 0.1 plus j 0.2 plus two angle of minus 30 times 1 plus j 1.33 divided by two angle of minus 30 plus 1 plus j 1.33 now when we multiply it's better to multiply in the polar coordinate when we add it's better or it must be uh, in the uh, rectangular coordinate so this i will rewrite the the terms in the proper coordinate system so this is plus two angle of minus 30 times 1.67 angle of 53.1 divided by this will be 
1.73 minus J1 plus 1 plus J1.33. Now we multiply these two quantities together and we add those. Now we need to convert that this back to polar. We do the division and then convert everything into a rectangular. We add it to, to this impedance. So then convert everything back to polar. So the total impedance. And this is a nice exercise that you need to do it. Uh, yourself you need to practice and make sure you write you have the right answer which is 1.37 angle of plus 2023 so that is this is your impedance this is your z without the need to find a voltage or find a current your power factor is equal to cosine of 2023 which is equal to 0.92 and since the angle of the impedance is positive, it means it is inductive. It means the power factor has to be has to be lagging. And another important fact, I will end up with uh, this uh, question, is that the power factor is for the phase. Although it's a three phase system, but the power factor that we calculate is for the phase load. So with this, we know how to handle a power factory question, even if we don't have the, the voltage and, and the current.